Okay, so our corner posts are installed, um, and now we're gonna move on to our J trim. Uh, so again, um, basically what this piece does is it just allows for the siding to um, be able to slip in behind it and it uh, hides all of our cut edges and needs, leaves a nice finished edge. Um, so that was kind of the purpose of our corner posts. Um, our corner posts basically have J trim installed into it. Um, but now what we need to do is go ahead and install it um, every other location uh, where it's needed, which is around all of your openings. Um, and then as well as um, at the top of our um, soffit here. So I have one piece already installed. I'm gonna show you how to install this other piece here in a minute, uh, but I just wanna quickly uh, talk about doors and window openings. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do a door opening, um, but a lot of these windows um, nowadays have um, pre-installed J trim on them. Um, so uh, this window's already ready to go. We don't have to do any more work to it. Um, so um, a lot of these windows, they just have this vinyl piece um, and your, uh, your siding can just slip right up underneath it and um, on the side of it. So this window's are ready to go. I'll show you a door here in a minute. Um, but before we do that, we'll go ahead and finish off our um, soffit here. So what we're gonna do is, if you take a look at this one as an example, um, I have it running down along um, the F trim here, and then it just slightly um, goes behind our cor corner post here. Um, these, this uh, corner post, this uh, J trim is basically just a little bit thicker. You can kind of see um, it sticks out a little bit. Um, and that's so this trim can um, snugly fit behind it. Um, but if we were to just run um, this at that angle, we'd still have a little bit of a corner showing here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do to kind of prep this is make a 45 degree angle the same, uh, the same way it would be going up there and just take a little bit of this material off so it can sit nice and neat up there. So I went ahead and drew a 45 degree and I'm just gonna take my tin snips here and just quickly take this material off. So if you make a nice angled cut like that, you can cut all this nail flange off square behind it and just come around to complete that cut. Now there won't be anything in our way to be able to get behind uh, that corner post there. So just a quick cut there. Um, so this piece is prepped. Um, I need to get my ladder here and we'll go up to the peak. All right, so essentially what we're gonna wanna do is this piece is too long right now. Um, we're, uh, we're gonna have to trim it to length. Um, but even more importantly, um, this would be okay. There's nothing wrong as far as um, butting up a square piece into another square piece. It won't leak or anything, um, but we can make that look just a little bit nicer with a mitered cut. So what we're gonna do is uh, take our tape measure here. And it's nice because we got a little bit of play room here um, behind our corner trim. So I'm just gonna take a measurement from behind our corner trip up to the top here. And it looks like we got about 66 and a quarter. So that's gonna be to my short point here. And what I can do, and this doesn't have to be super accurate because again, we got about an inch of playroom down there. But I'm just gonna kind of hook onto my short point of my J trim here and run it all out to 66 and a quarter. Right here. And now I'm gonna make a 45 degree cut on here um, that we can overlap our onto our 
uh, square piece here. So, gonna kind of hold it up there to make sure I know which way it's running. Runs down like this. So I'll make my 45 degree angle here. And then I just kind of want to think through uh, what exactly I'm going to be cutting off of this piece. So basically I want this flap here to overlap onto that piece, which means I'm going to have to take some of this material behind it off um, so it can completely go up into that piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this miter cut here. Just like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off some of this excess material behind it. And then every once in a while, I won't be able to get my tin snips in there. So I just cut off some extra area here so I can actually get my snips in there. And I'm just gonna cut off this garbage that's not needed. Come across here cut that part and now I have an area where I can go ahead and take off this last little remaining part um, and be able to get my snips in there. So I'm actually going to make two cuts here. I'm going to cut on the back. Okay. So now I, I basically took all that garbage off. Um, but if you look in closely here, I still have this ridge. Um, that's from this radius of the J trim. I'm gonna try to make a nice clean cut and take that little bit of ridge off as well. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that flap to sit nice and tight over, um, over a piece of J trim that's already up there. There we go. So now you can see we took that ridge off and we should have a nice uh, flat surface for that to sit on. So one more piece here. We also have this little uh, little uh, flap here that we need to take off um, for it to be able to sit flat. So this guy is just a little bit more difficult. You just try to get in there the best you can and take that little flap off. Just like so. All right. So now, if we took our measurements right, we have our miter down on this side that should be able to slip behind our J trim down there. Which it looks like it will. And then our little flap that we made on our um, J trim up here should be able to sit right up over our piece up here and now we've made a nice miter up at top here. Um, now our siding can come up underneath here and that'll be a nice finished look. So what I can do is I can hold this miter to where I want it to be. And I'm not really focusing down there too much because I know I have that extra room uh, to play with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a nail set up here. Again, not super tight. And then I'll be able to move down to my lower part here and make sure that this corner is fastened behind our corner trim here. So I'm just gonna push this up. We have a nice, uh, nice overlap here. Once we put siding up there, that'll finish off real nice. Okay, so that corner's finished, and now all we have to do is nail off the rest of this uh, J trim here about every 16 inches, uh, and then we'll be ready for siding on this side of the house. <laughs> 